Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about how to conduct and interpret the results of t-test in Excel. Okay, so first and foremost, we use t-test, particularly independent samples t-test. When we are dealing with two separate groups or two separate samples for assigned in two separate conditions. For example, in this in this problem, we are comparing conditions A and condition conditions A and B. And our goal in why we use t-test, our goal, our objective is to determine if there are significant differences between the two groups or between the two conditions. Okay, and t-test is only supposed to be used when we are dealing with two groups or two conditions. Okay, so now we are looking at the data obtained from condition A and from condition B. So we have here in column A, the data or the scores for group A or condition A, while in column B, we have here the scores or the data for group B, okay? And every row represents a case. So this, is the, this cell represents the first case for condition A, while this cell represents the first case for condition B. So in other words, there are there are um, 12 participants in condition A, and there are also 12 participants in condition B. So all in all, we have 24 participants, 12 are assigned in group A, 12 are assigned in group B. Okay, so to run t-test, let's click on data, and let's click on data analysis. In this video, I'm assuming that you have already installed the plugin for data analysis. If you haven't, feel free to search about it so that you will know how to install the data analysis plugin in Excel. So let's click on data analysis. All right. And once this pop-up menu emerge on your screen, just scroll down and look for t-test to sample, assuming equal variances, and then click on OK. And you can now see that the software is asking us to specify where the data would be coming from. First, for the input variable one range, so this is where we can um, put the data for group A or condition A. Okay, so we can assign group A as, as variable one. And to do this, click on the empty box on the right side of variable one range, and then highlight all the observations for condition A, just like what I'm doing. I'm selecting all observations for condition A, including the header condition A. And then for variable two, you can select on all the observations for group number or for group B or condition B. And since we included the labels, the I mean the headers in the data that we have selected, we should click on labels or we should check on labels here. And the alpha, let's keep it at 0 0.05. Now for the output, where do you want to see the where do you want to see the output? Do you want it in a new workbook? Do you want to see it in a new worksheet? Or do you want to see it in the same worksheet? In my case, I just want to see it here in the same worksheet. So I'm going to click on output range and then click on the empty box on the right side of output range. And then you can select where you want to see the output on your spreadsheet. In my case, I want to see it around here. I click on D, um, D1. So I want it to be shown right around here. So I click on this cell, D1. And then once, uh, once you have specified the following, you can now click OK, and you can now see the results. Feel free to adjust the size of the columns so that you can see the text just like this. OK, and for uniformity, let's highlight or select all the numbers on screen and then click on home. And then let's click on here in the middle. Instead of general, let's click on number. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, all the numbers are now, now ha have two decimal places. So now let me highlight the important numbers that you have to look at whenever you interpret the test results. First, let's look at the means. As we can see, the mean for condition A is greater than the mean for condition B. So it means that those in group A scored higher than those in condition B. Okay. Next important number, well, you can also report the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. 
you can get the square root of this of these two numbers or you can also compute for the you can also obtain um, the variable the standard dev using descriptive statistics well anyway proceeding now to the next important number that we should look at we have the t statistic so let me also highlight this with yellow and of course the degrees of freedom some researchers report the degrees of freedom in their research paper so we can also um, highlight this okay now the t statistic is 6.14 and we want to know if this is significant. So our null hypothesis in independent samples t-test is that there are no significant differences between the two conditions. And our alternative hypothesis is that there is a significant difference between the two conditions. Okay. So you have two options here. You can, you can use the p-value for one-tailed test. And you can also use the p-value for the two-tailed test. Sir, how do we know which of the two are we supposed to use? It depends on the hypothesis you're testing. If you have a specific prediction, for example, condition A will score significantly higher than condition B, you're specifying that A would get a higher score compared to B, that is a one-tailed hypothesis. Hence, you should refer to this one. But if you do not have a specific prediction, for example, there is a significant difference between A and B, there's no specific prediction which group would score higher, then that is a two-tailed hypothesis. Hence, we can refer to this one because that is a two-tailed test. Okay, so now looking at the p-value for the two-tailed test, it's 0 0.000, it's very small, it's lower than 0 0.05, it's even lower than 0 0.001. Therefore, we conclude that there is a significant difference between the two groups, particularly condition A scored significantly higher compared to condition B. That is it for my demonstration on how to run independent samples t-test using Excel. I hope this video is helpful. Subscribe for more videos about research and statistics. Thank you.